Welcome back to the channel lads. It's been a while. I've been absolutely useless at doing these vlogs but today we're gonna do a vlog for you so let's take you through the day we just nipped uh to the wholesalers we had to grab two shaver sockets some led drivers and they also hooked up a pack of biscuits lovely thank you very much medlock harlow so make sure you go get your bits from there go check them out let's get to the job because we're already uh running a little bit late but yeah. Right, so we just arrived on site plan of action for today we was installing a Rayco smart lighting system yesterday so we're going to finish that off we just needed some patch leads to patch all the links all the racks together to link them all together and then we're just going to finish off the bathrooms in the same plot and then we might just walk you through the plot and then show you what we've been up to so let's get into it <laughs> today we're going to just set bob up in this bathroom just to button it up so we've done the all the lights are done we've got the loomy down lights we've got the airflow fan led strip to go across the mirror mirror heat pad and then we have got going in today we've got the shaver socket we have got the stat for the underfloor heating that's a heat miser stat and then if we look down there we have got the flex outlet plate for the towel rail, that's eventually going to go onto here. So we're going to leave Bob to it. Hopefully he don't mess it up, but no it's going to be fine. These are the bits we've got. We've got the heat miser stack, and then we've got click uh, flex outlet plate and click shaver socket. Then we're going to finish up the Rayco we was doing yesterday, and then we'll go from there. This is the Rayco smart lighting system we put in yesterday. Basically, we managed to second fix everything. So we've got all these racks second fixed. We've got the rack hub in, but we was missing these patch leads. So what the patch leads do, they just link the uh, rack link to the actual individual racks as well. So we're just gonna have to put them patch leads in to link them across. And now the switches should work after that. So we're just gonna get that all buttoned up and then that's the Rayco ticked off. Also, in these dark cupboards, we've got the LED lens, a head torch to keep us going. Unbelievable bit of kit. these off they just literally come off and we can poke that behind there we've already got a hole through so we'll poke that down to that one put that one in there and then we can just slide slide that through there and then we can just put the panel back on nice and easy and these Rayco smart lighting systems they look really hard to do but really they're super easy, man. I've got, I think I'm gonna put a video out on how to do these Rayco smart line systems as well. So stay tuned for that. So that's all the lights on. Now we can go around, just test all the switches, make sure they're functioning how they should be. That's them off, turn them back on. They all come on together at the moment until they get programmed next week. So we're gonna go around, check all the switches, check all the lights work. And then if they all work, then all the lights can go up. And then that's jobs are good and looking all lovely. We've got a couple of switches not working, so we've got to look into that. We had Bob the Apprentice go around do all the switches yesterday, but a couple of them are not working, so we're going to look into them, take them off, see what the problem is. Right, so we've put all the lights back in, so they're all sitting flush. So we're just going to take you around sort of this part of the job. We can't take you around the old job because the painter is having it off down there with all the music. So let's take you through this part of the job basically it's the main main hub anyway really so in here we've got all the fuse board covered so we have got the Rayco racks the fuse board trunking all the heating that's on contactors heat miser all connects up 
with the Control 4. All connects up with the Control 4. We have the smart light and the switches, and then the living area, we've got an LED strip going the whole way across, and then we're using the Lumi plug-in down lights, which come with the uh, integrated smokes and heat, which is a really nice touch for the high-end properties. So they just twist off, they connect up through the RF connections wirelessly, and then just click them back in, so then they're all integrated into your down light, so you don't have that really bulky smoke alarm. And then we obviously have the kitchen area, worktop sockets, integrated appliances, all our isolators are recessed into the back of the cupboard. So we've got our cooker, and then we've got all our 20 amp double pole switches for our appliances, and then the grid switches as well. Uh, throughout the perimeter of the living area, we've got the sockets, five amps, uh, spurs for the heaters. We've got the heaters still to go on. They're gonna be on the Wi-Fi as well, so you can control it through your phone. And then that's pretty much it. That's this area wrapped up, really. We've got the speakers to go on, TV to go on. But other than that, this is the main sort of area of the property. Oh, go! Yeah, well, lunchtime roundup, Sam. We haven't done a lunchtime roundup in a little while, have we, Bob? No, so we have not. What have we, we done? Have what got... have we done? Go on, tell us what we've done. So, so far this morning, we've put all the lights back. We've buttoned up uh, plot number one. A couple heat measures, you know. We've uh, second fixed the bathrooms. So we've got the stats on. We have got the towel rail, uh, flex outlet plates on, the shaver sockets. Finished the Rayco in that. Yeah, finished the Rayco. Tested all the switches. We sorted out your mess. Ah, right, thanks for that. Just nah, joking, nah. No, no, nothing's mad. We sorted out the switches that weren't working, just a few little problems, nothing major. Now we're at lunchtime. Now we're having a little bit of lunch, and it's Friday, so you know you what Friday me. means. You copied me, tuna crunch. Double meal deal day. We, we both got tuna crunch. Boost. I had a boost, but I ate it already. Then we've got chicken and bacon sandwich. Pringles. Washing it down with this new energy drink. Yeah, Natural so this one's, energy. This one's just as healthy, you know. Yeah, but yeah, this is really nice, so. He's lying. We're gonna have a bite to eat, and then we're gonna get back at it. Yes, mate. We need to uh, just finish lunch, set Bob up. We need to help Dave, because he's got a problem, so. I think we've got to make these cables a bit shorter, because he's uh, he's getting annoyed with the length of the cables, pulling them back through all the time. So we're gonna help him out. Cut the cable off, yeah? yeah? To make it really short, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh, you got a nice bit of cover there, though, haven't you? Well, it's going to the balcony, though. Oh, is it? That's what I was going to say. I was going to say it's raining. I don't really fancy it. Come on, it's <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'll get that isolated. I'll get that isolated and get it sorted. So now we've just got all these rads that are getting hung onto the wall, and then we've got to get the cable through to the spur. What I'm doing is just getting the cable through and then Bob's second fixing the spur, getting them all wired up. But yeah, we're just basically gonna go around this plot, get all them second fixed, spending the afternoon wiring them up. Okay, now, oh, the spur's are already second fixed, so we're just gonna take them off and then we need to get the cable into the wall because they don't want no flex on show. So they don't want the flex on the radiator on show. So we've got to get that drilled out. Hopefully some of the ones we've done previously we've hit the batons so hopefully we don't hit it on this one we're going to get it through the wall into the spur and the jobs are good so all we're going to do is cut the plug off don't need that doesn't void the warranty either they just put them on so they're not responsible for anything so that's all pushed then we're going to use a 20 mil bosch speed bit just drill through the wall nice and steady don't have to go too mad. And we've hit a baton, like I said. <laughs> so now, we try and get the 20 mil bit, go at an angle. Get through that baton. Straight through that, and we can pop the cable 
Hopefully it's through straight away. There's a pot of cable. No, you're not like I won't. Yeah? No, you're not like I won't. Yeah, no, I've always got bad luck with these. There we go. Gosh. Lovely. Yeah, what? Straight through. Yeah, what? And then that way the cable's all hidden because it's quite a high end finish. They don't want no cables on show, even though we've got the flex outlet spurs, we're still going to put it into the wall so it's nice and hidden. This one wasn't a bad one. The previous one I had an absolute nightmare with. Hit stud after stud, wasn't it, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> I was getting stressed, but yeah, we managed to get in. This one's been a breeze, though. We've got a flex to the spur. I can just leave Bob to second fix that now, and I'm going to move on to the next one and get them all wrapped up. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. So after the radiators, we started to dig a trench for a cable to go in for the photo cell. We've got to, all the driveway lights, we've got to put them on a photo cell. So we need to, they want the photo cell well out of the way. So we've got to dig a trench to get the cable there. And then we just pretty much wrapped up the plot, a uh, bit of labeling. And then we just done a list of everything that's outstanding. I like to just jot it all down, especially with the weekend coming up. I don't need to worry about it till the Monday. And then uh, if everything's written down, there's no need to worry. Uh, we can just pick it back up on the Monday. And then we just got a list of all the bits that we need to complete and all the bits we need to order. We got that ordered through to Medlocks. Got that sorted for Monday. So hopefully then bits will come Monday and then we can tick a load more jobs off. That is pretty much going to wrap up the vlog. I know it's been a little while, I've been useless, but the, my, my main platform is really TikTok. So I spend a lot of time putting a lot of effort into the TikTok, but I want to get into the YouTube, get into the longer vlogs so you can build a bit more of a personal connection with me and then see a, a more in-depth videos of what I get up to as well. So obviously still going to do the install videos on here and the vlogs. Also, the stay grafting workwear. Also, the stay grafting workwear has taken over my life the past like three months. So, that's been very busy. We've had a load of orders for that. I'll link that down below if you want to grab any of the workwear. We have got loads of hoodies, loads of t-shirts, all available on the website, staygraftingworkwear.com. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, share it to all your mates, all your friends and family. And then yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Stay grafting, lads.